Ljubljana, the capital of Slovenia, and home to around 300,000 people. It's one of the smallest and most environmentally friendly cities in Europe. Hi, I am Martijn, your guide in Ljubljana. After watching this travel guide, you know a lot more about this city to get the most out of your trip. From this famous castle to a boat ride, beautiful churches, and the best rooftop bar. I don't like to ask, but please like, subscribe, or leave a comment. That's the way YouTube works to grow and to make new videos for you in the future. The airport is located 30 kilometers outside the city center. And to travel to the city, you can use a bus service, for example. The journey takes about 30 to 50 minutes, and a single ticket will set you back around 5 euros. Taxis are expensive, around 40 euros. And when you travel by train, there are a lot of direct connections to other big European cities. And from the train station, it's only a 10 minutes walk to the old city center. In a moment you know more about the old town and a way to rent bikes for almost nothing. But first, the Ljubljana Castle. It was built in the 15th century on this hill. It's 376 meters high. To go to the top, you have some options. Of course, you can walk. It's like 50 to 20 minutes and a really good exercise. Of course, by car. Or you can take this funicular. A ticket, a return ticket, will set you back around 4 euros. On top you have a beautiful view over the city of course, and you can visit the castle inside. Some parts are free to go, for other parts you need a ticket. And you can easily buy a combination ticket for the funicular and the castle for 30 euros. And when you have that ticket, you can climb to the top of this tower. Or visit the Museum of Puppetry. I have to say, this castle is around 900 years old, but it looks really new when you compare it to other castles in other European cities. But it's a beautiful viewing point and a nice place to visit when you are here. Behind the castle, there are some paths into the nature. So when you like a nice walk, it's a pretty good place to go. One of the old buildings you certainly have to visit is the town hall. The original building was built in Gothic style in 1484. Between 1717 and 1719, the building underwent a baroque renovation with a Venetian inspiration. It's located on the town square, close to the Ljubljana Cathedral, and later more about that. And you can visit the town hall completely free of charge. In a moment more about the bridges in the old center of Ljubljana. And a spot you can't miss is the Presieren Square. It's located in the middle of the old center. The square takes its name from Slovenia's greatest and most famous poet writer, Frans Presieren. In the middle of the square you will also find a statue of him. The main building on this site is the Franciscan Church. It was built between 1646 and 1660 and it replaced an older church on the same site. And the bell towers were built later. Many of the original frescoes were destroyed during a heavy earthquake in 1895 by cracks in the ceiling. And new paintings were made in 1936. You can visit the church daily for free, but keep in mind that it is closed between 12.30 and 1.30 p.m. The city experienced two heavy earthquakes in 1511 and 1895. The reconstruction gave the city a contemporary image with Art Nouveau masterpieces and Baroque architecture. The easiest way to explore the old center is to walk around over here. It's beautiful, full with colorful houses, and those houses give this part of the city just so much charm and character. And when you like ice creams, this is your heaven. There is an ice cream store, don't ask me why, but on every corner. And in the summer, I'm here in August, there are some street performances in the evening. The city is split into two parts by the 41 km long Lublanica River. You can book a boat ride for around 10 euros with different companies. There are many bridges to cross the river. For example, the Bartius Bridge, also the Love Bridge, the Triple Bridge next to the Presieren Square, and the Dragon Bridge. The bridge was built in 1901 and refers to the symbol of the city. There are four stone dragons, two on each side, that guard the bridge. Further, 
it's a normal bridge with a lot of traffic. In a moment you know a great place to chill and how to rent a bike for less, but first the best time to visit Ljubljana. I think that will be the spring and summer. In the spring the temperature is around 20 degrees and it can be cold by night around 10 degrees Celsius. In the summer, just like today in August, it can be hot 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. One of the best ways to explore a city is by bike. And in this city you can do it almost free of charge, because there is a bicycle sharing system. And that means that you can use a bike one hour free of charge. And when you bring it back to the docking station and wait for five minutes, you can use it another hour. The only fee involved is one euro for one week and three euros for the whole year. You have to pay in advance. And you can do that with the link in the text below the video. In a moment you know more about the central market and this beautiful church. But first, everything about street art in the neighborhood Metalkova. Once this was a military site. But nowadays the military barracks are no longer recognizable. It's fully colored and decorated with art and graffiti. And this area is also known for the great parties by night. And then a place which is also a meeting point for locals, the central market. You can buy a lot of stuff over here or sit down on the terrace for a cup of coffee. The market is open Monday till Saturday and on the lower floor you will find the fish market. In a moment you know one of the best museums to visit, but first a notable landmark in the city, the Cathedral of St. Nicolas. A perfect place to admire beautiful frescoes, artwork and sculptures. If you want to escape the hustle and bustle in the city, then you go to Tivoli Park. It's the largest park in the city. Some of the artworks and buildings are really special. For example, the Tivoli Castle. And this is also a perfect place for a drink. A rooftop bar with a beautiful view where you can drink a cup of coffee. You know that place in a second, but first the museums in town. And there are a lot of them. For example, the National Museum of Slovenia and a railway museum. It's impossible to show you them all. So I decided to go to one of the museums and that's the Museum of Modern Art. Apart from housing a permanent collection of Slovenian art, it hosts temporary exhibitions presenting new artistic practices. You can visit the museum from Tuesday till Sunday between 10 and 6 and it's closed on public holidays. And then finally one of the best rooftop bars in town. It's called Nebotichnik and that means skyscraper. The bar itself isn't that special but the views are. And from the terrace, together with a drink you have a beautiful view over the city and the castle. Please give a thumbs up, thank you so much when you like this Ljubljana travel guide. And if you don't want to miss any other episodes, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's totally free and it enriches your view on the whole world. Tot ziens, ciao, hasta luego.